Good evening, I'm Jim Williams. And I'm Mai Martinez. Thank you for joining us. Breaking now, the 30-day countdown clock to a Chicago Teachers Union strike is active. Today, the CTU denounced and rejected the latest report on negotiations. Let's go right to CBS 2's Adrena Bigas, who is live at CPS headquarters, where CEO Forrest Claypool just wrapped up a news conference. Chicago. Yes, Jim and my Forrest Claypool just finished speaking and he simply says CPS says yes to the fact finders report and he's now asking the Chicago's teachers union to reconsider its rejection. Claypool says the district accepts and fully supports this quote reasonable and fair recommendation from the fact finder. The union immediately served its notice of rejection today, which means the fact finders report is a dead letter and the 30 day countdown for a possible strike begins today, meaning the earliest teachers could strike is May 16th, about a month before the school year ends. CTU says the fact finders recommendations are the same as a recent offer that the union shut down back in January. CTU President Karen Lewis said as in a statement, the clock has started. CPS has created this fiscal mess and refuses to go over hundreds of millions of dollars in existing revenue that is already out there. Our whacked out governor isn't helping, we have no choice to prepare ourselves for a possible strike. And Lewis says that she'll work with her delegates to set a strike date. She is not sure whether that date would force a closure to the school year or if teachers will wait till next school year to strike. And Claypool says he's asked for negotiations this week, but teachers say they will not negotiate during spring break. Live outside CPS headquarters, Audrina Bigas, CBS 2 News. Jim and Mai. Thank you, Audrina.